In this video, we'll talk about constructor. Now, what is constructor? So, let's say we have a class called as ABC. And in this class, uh, let me create the object of this class. So, we'll say ABC and then we'll say OBJ. Now, when you write this statement ABC, ABC OBJ, now this OBJ will be called as reference. Now, in order to, in, in order to instantiate this OBJ, we need to use a new keyword. Now, new keyword is responsible to give the memory. And then we need to provide a, met a method which is ABC with a bracket. So when you, whenever you use this round bracket, this defines it's a method, right? But hold on, this is not a normal method. This method has the same name as class name. You can see we have ABC class name. That means it's a method with, which has the same name as your class name. And that's why this type of methods are called as constructors. So here this ABC is a constructor. How to, uh, then, where is this method? We have not defined this, right? Now, this is this is where your JVM comes into picture, right? So, JVM provides you a constructor by default, and that constructor is public ABC. So, even if you don't write it, it, it has this default method, which is ABC with bracket, which is your constructor. And a point to be noted, constructor has the same name as class name, and constructor never returns anything. And that's why we don't need to write this return type here. So let's see uh, how to call a constructor. Do I need to call obj.abc? Is it, is it applicable? You can see we are getting an error, right? It says we are not able to find this uh, thing, the method called as abc. It's because you cannot call constructor explicitly. So let's say if I have a statement here in abc const to define it's the constructor, or to AB, in abc const, since we cannot call this ABC, let's see the output. And the output will be in ABC const. That means this is getting called. But when? Whenever you create an object, it will automatically call the constructor. Clear? So constructor has these three properties. First one, constructor has the same name as class name. Second, constructor never returns anything. And third one, Constructors get called when you create the object or you can say when you when you instantiate the object it will automatically get called Now you can have different types of constructors. We can have constructor a default constructor or you can have parameterized constructor Now it is default constructor default constructor is something which you don't need to write It is not compulsory to write constructor, right? But let's say if you want to pass some parameters Let's say if you want to pass int i then this type of constructors are called as parameterized constructor now, how to use parameterized constructor that we'll see in the next video.